everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's so it's officially summertime here in the UK, and I noticed that there's been a lot of lemony perfumes released in the past few months ready for summer so I thought I'd do a video on what I think are the best citrusy perfume new releases that have come out this year because I think this is the time of year where people are looking for either to layer or to wear on its own something really fresh citrusy for the hot weather if you're new here then hi welcome we're all about perfumes so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos and if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button show your support and you can support me on patreon now as well and I will leave the link down below in the description box to where you can buy all these perfumes in UK Europe and North America cool so first on my list is the latest one from Dolce & Gabbana in their Dolce range these perfumes are really beautiful bottles they really stand out and they come in different colors I've done a video on the whole range and most of them were quite musty heavy floral originally but the more recent ones that have come out in the past few years have been much lighter and fresher and this one for 2021 is called Rose not to be confused with Rosa Excelsior that came out a few years ago that's in a frosted red bottle that's different and this one, even though it's called Rose, is actually very lemony. This was love at first spray for me. I really like it. They've really, really gone for the lemon here. And it really does smell like lemon and lemon rind. You know when you um, grate lemon and cooking and you get that like zesty lemon smell? It really has that to it, which I find super refreshing in the summer. What's actually a bit confusing about this is in the fragrance notes it describes it as like a green apple and it says mandarin orange so I, I get lemon, I get lemon. Maybe if you take oranges and apples and mix them together it makes lemon, I don't know. But it smells like lemons to me, guys. But then in the heart we have a bit of a peach and then you have a really fresh, soft rose. But this is not a, you know, Turkish rose. It's not heavy rose. This is like going into a garden and smelling a rose that's there with covered in dew perhaps from an early morning and I just think that combination of the citrusiness and then that fresh rose just creates such a beautiful summer uplifting smell that really makes me smile it's really pretty my only complaint is it's an eau de toilette so you do need to keep reapplying it but apart from that, it is a beautiful smell and a lot of people only want eau de toilettes in the summer anyway. But I would say it's a really pretty gift or gift to yourself. It's cute to have on your dressing table. And perhaps if you already wear a rosy perfume or a perfume with rose in, you could add this and layer it on top in the summertime to add that citrusy, lemony vibe to it. But I think just for the bottle alone, it is worth getting um so this is my favorite new citrus from this year we have the new limited edition from dolce and gabbana's light blue range every year they bring out a limited edition and this year it's called light blue forever and now the light blue range if you don't already know them are known for this lemony fresh citrus vibe they're one of the sort of freshest lightest perfumes out there and this absolutely has lemon as like the main note. But what I really like about this is they've added in some floral notes to this, which make it different from the original. There's some orange blossom here and just like a general tropical floral white flower note. You know, in tropical countries when you can smell the flowers, like tropical flowers, it really has that vibe like Mediterranean or Caribbean vibe. And I really like that. It's, it's, a definite summer smell so you get the pretty feminine floral but you're getting all this refreshing lemon at the same time and what I'm really pleased about is that it is an eau de parfum so it's stronger than the original which is an eau de toilette and um, it's not super heavy or anything it's still a light fragrance but I think it's a really classy interpretation of light blue the, the floral notes they've added are really nice I really like what they've picked here um, one of my favourite from the different flankers they've had in the different years. Um, so definitely check this out if you're a fan of light blue and lemony ones. But yeah, I think this is my second favourite um, 
citrus lemony release of the year. Another new lemony one is Lemon Island from Atelier Cologne. Now this has lemon, like really sharp, nice lemon in, but it also has a vanilla underneath. So if you're looking for something with a bit more body, something a little bit more to it, then I'd recommend this one. I think you could really wear this at night time as well. It has vanilla and it has jasmine. So you get at first, especially this really zesty lemon, like really sharp lemon, but then it fades into this kind of skin, creamy, vanilla jasmine, which is quite nice for the evening time when you want something that's got a little bit more to it. You don't just want, you know, all the citruses. So I find this really cool. It's like something a tropical goddess would wear on a desert island, you know? Really interesting, mysterious. I've never really smelt um, really strong lemon and really strong vanilla like two main notes like that lemon and vanilla as the main notes I've never smelt that before and it works quite well actually just makes it very warm I guess like a lemon meringue or something um but definitely one to try I like I like this Atelier Cologne may art tend to be quite light this is the Cologne Absolute so it's a bit stronger than a lot of their other ones as well they have loads of great citrus ones for the summer I'll leave my video about the range down below um, but this I think might be my favorite from them it's just a really new innovative concept in my opinion I really like it for something quite fun we have the latest Escada for the summer Escada summer festival this is an orange perfume with cherry blossom super fresh this is probably the most like fruity of all of these it's like an orange fruit salad and um, very young carefree fun fruity fun summer festival you know 18 year olds going to a festival would be wearing this absolutely and sometimes that's how we want to feel right we want to feel young carefree in the summertime um, and this really embodies that for me um, they come in these little bottles which are great for the handbag the branding of the packaging is really cool the festival vibes and I love orange I think orange is my favorite citrus note probably but I do love citrus mmm and I love that cherry blossom in there it makes it really feminine and pretty so really been enjoying this and um, I'm gonna take this on my holiday with me and yeah really fine definitely a fun inexpensive one to try this year next we have from Jo Malone their frangipani range that they've released um, and in that is frangipani flower cologne this is actually one that's been around for a few years but they've kind of re-released it in this new bottle as part of this frangipani range and even though it's called frangipani for me the main note here is actually a citrus lemon it's a really light fresh pretty refreshing lemon like a lemonade and then you have the floral frangipani underneath frangipani is a very delicate tropical flower feels very summery and it complements the lemon really well and um, this is a really classy smell it is again a cologne so it's not heavy you could definitely use this for layering um, if you wore it on its own you'd want to be keep topping it up it's not a heavy one but it comes in this pretty bottle and this was my favorite from the range of these frangipani ones i think it is um, the best with that fresh lemon so if you're looking for something just pretty and light and you love Jo Malone, then these new bottles are quite cool with the orb on the top. And this is a nice lemon. Cool, so those are my favorite new citrus perfumes of 2021. And um, my top recommendations for a new one this summer. Let me know if you agree, do you like any of these? What are your top um, recommendations for citrus? Let me know in the comments, I do read all your comments. But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.